Hello, everyone. Hello. This is my wife, Hannah. This is my husband, Shane. Uh, Today, we are finally going to get to our probably most requested video. We, we got three emails overnight <laughs> asking to do a video about this. Yeah. Yeah. Since the beginning, this has been the thing that everyone wants to know. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we haven't done it yet. I, just, I don't know. <laughs> it, we, it, it just felt, I don't know. I felt like we were saving it. Yeah. Like, I don't know. But there's a bunch of new followers now from our wedding stuff going a little bit viral, which was a little bit overwhelming at times. Um, today, we're going to tell you the story of how we met. We're going to cover everything from the interview and the contract to the payments. Just kidding. Nope. <laughs> oh my god, roll reversal. Hannah, that was such a good joke. Thank you. That was a great use of my note. <laughs> All right, let's do it. We'd now like to briefly thank the sponsor of this video, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN allows users worldwide to protect their privacy and security online in just a few easy clicks. You guys know that Shane can be a little resistant to trying new things, but even he was immediately captivated by how easy and useful ExpressVPN has been for us. My favorite feature is their content on blocking. So basically, you can connect to any one of their 2,000 plus servers all over the world and then gain access to content and websites in that area that were geo-blocked. It's really cool. It works great for things like Netflix. We just switch our server to another country and then we can access all of the things that are only available in that country. Yeah, we all know that we're all looking for more content and interesting things to watch right now. And with servers in 94 countries, the possibilities are pretty much endless. I didn't even know that there were 94 countries. It's a lot of countries. Shame. Find out how you can get three months free by visiting expressvpn.com slash squirmy and grubs. Thank you. All right, we had to pause because Chloe once again decided it was time to drink all of the water in her bowl. Yes. As always, thank you so much for watching the advertisements that you do. It really supports our work, and we appreciate that a lot. Thank yes. you. So now. Yes, now. On to the video. The big moment. Yes. Where uh, should we begin, Shane? Let's begin. Four and a half years ago. At birth. <laughs> now, let's skip forward to March 2016. Yes. I just turned 20. You are 23. I'm like 38. <laughs> 20 and 23. Uh -huh. Okay. For anyone who doesn't know, I am now 24. Shane is now 28. Yes. So you know. Should we take it from your perspective? Yeah, because I began it, right? Okay. So my perspective, yes. I'm a freshman in college. It is finals of my winter term. So I was studying. I remember it was for my classics course on a uh, Roman sport. You can tell I went to a liberal arts school. That sounds like a fake class. <laughs> it really does. That's probably why I signed up for it. Where are you studying at this My moment? dorm room. Your dorm room. It is 11, 11-ish p.m. Actually, no, I guess it was midnight. It was around midnight, do and you, I was done. Do you have a single dorm room? No. Are you alone, is my point. I am alone. Okay. I don't know where my roommate was. Okay. I, yeah, she studying. I mean, it was finals. Everyone was yeah, studying. Everyone she was probably at the library. I'm just setting the scene here. Yeah, so I think I'm pretty sure I'm alone. I don't know. She might have been there, but I, I think I was alone, okay. and I finished studying, and I was watching. I went onto YouTube to relax before bed, right? I had my exam the next day. What time was it, approximately? Midnight. Midnight. And I think I was watching, like, the office bloopers, which is how I, you know, that was, like, my main... So uh, your go-to video. My go-to video. Uh, if I'm not watching the office, I'm watching the bloopers. So I didn't really use YouTube, so it must have been that. Um, so I was watching that, and one of the actors from that show, Rain Wilson, had a YouTube channel of his own uh, called Soul Pancake, and he basically made, like, documentaries about people. And there was one about Shane. And I was like, oh. Interesting. I think I watched a couple of the others too. I'm not even, I don't remember. Yeah. This is a while ago. And just a little bit of info about that documentary. That was something that I was a part of um, a few years prior to Hannah seeing it. It had like a million views. So I was yeah. like, that must be a good video. Yeah. And it was a, a fun project to do. It was about living with my disease 
and just kind of my, uh, you know, your book, your nonprofit, yeah, my work, stuff like that. Yeah. So this is a little mini documentary about his life. A little vignette about my life. Yes. In, in that video, I talk a lot about hoping that I will find love someday. True. Which I think is funny. Yeah, it is funny. <laughs> But anyway, so I watched that and I was like, wow, he's so funny. And I, like, I've told you this before, but I felt like I had heard of your book before. Do you remember? I was oh, like, yeah. Laughing My Nightmare sounds so familiar. Yeah. And I, I never figured it out if I had ever heard of it before or if it was just like a title that just sounds familiar because it's like catchy. Yeah, you definitely never read it. I had never read yeah, it. Never read and it, I, yeah. I still to this day don't know if it was just like I thought that I had heard of it, heard of it but I remember being like, I think I've heard of him. Yeah. Okay. But, so anyway, I go to his blog because that's what this video like linked to. So you watched the video and you were like, oh, he's funny. Yeah, like, he's funny. And it was like, go check out Shane's blog in the description. So I was like, okay. So I clicked on the blog. I was reading it. And he had just gotten back from a trip to Savannah with his brother. And I had been to Savannah like, I don't know, the year before. Yeah. I loved Savannah. And he was writing about it. And obviously, if you've read Shane's books, you know that he writes beautifully. I love this video. This video is just... <laughs> And I say nice things about him. So anyway, I was like, wow, like he's such a great writer. Like he loves Savannah. I love Savannah, whatever. <laughs> That's the two things. No, there was more. Great writer <laughs> and loves Savannah. Check, I was check. like, he loves to travel. You know, you had a picture with like kittens and I was like, oh, he likes animals. You know, whatever. Yeah. So I thought that you were, you were very funny and cool and cute, whatever. So. Oh, what was that last word? Cute. You thought, uh-huh. Of course I thought you were cute, Shane. Yeah. Very cute. Anyway, very charming. Handsome. Okay. Men. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so I, this is the part that is super, super weird. To this day, I do not believe it. I know. I, <laughs> I think it was because it was now like one in the morning. I'm delusional. <laughs> and I email Shane. Yes. Introducing myself. I was like, blue. I love your, I loved your blog. I talked about Savannah. I talked about the kittens. Like this is all stuff from that email. Yep. It, yep. it was pretty short. It was like five sentences maybe. <laughs> but I was like, you know, hi. Uh -huh. I really like your blog. I'm Hannah. Whatever. Super strange thing for me to do. Like I, I, I don't have the words for how weird that is. Anna is a very shy person. Yeah. Um, like. This is so far outside of her comfort zone. Yeah. To like actively engage with a stranger. <laughs> like I did not I think I, I because it was so late I didn't ever expect you to respond. Um, you know, like in my mind you were not gonna get this email, you know? So I was like, oh well, you know, yeah. I'll tell him that his blog is really great. <laughs> I did not, I don't think, expect a response. I didn't expect us to, like, date, you know? So I think I had really low expectations, which is why I was like, oh, I'll shoot an email over. But even that. You're just being nice. Yeah, it's just so weird. It's, not me. Except for being like, you know, I'd love to talk. Yes. But like you weren't just like, hi, you're funny. You were like, hi, you're funny. Let's, let's Yeah, let's chat. be friends, yeah. you know? Although I didn't, I don't think I actually said that. No, but I, was, I was the one that friend zoned, remember? You did friend zone. All right, so. I wake up the next day to this email that I'd gotten overnight yeah. that just tickled my fancy. <laughs> Everything about it struck me as like endearing and hilarious. I mean, I was right. That's the thing. That's why I emailed you. I knew we would get along. Yeah, you knew we were compatible. You know, like I saw the video and I was like, oh my god, like we uh, we would be, if not, you know, a couple, we'd be best friends. Right. Like I know we'll get along. And I was literally right. And just from the email alone, I knew that like I really wanted to know Hannah. Yeah. Um, so I looked her up and saw that she was living in Minnesota. Normal. Which you told me. Like you said you were at college. Yeah. Um, and I was living in Pennsylvania. Didn't deter me one bit. I responded immediately. It was like yeah, it was like it seven, was seven in the morning. AM. <laughs> I looked back and it was seven AM. Oh. And I wrote a, a pretty lengthy yeah. response where I named, numbered a list of things that I enjoyed about her email. <laughs> so dorky. <laughs> and you, all right, on one hand, you sent your phone number, which is, you know, flirty and cute. Uh -huh. On the other hand, he finished the email and signed off by saying, let's be friends. <laughs> <laughs> so I, rude. I, it's extra weird to end that email from me with like, Hey, let's keep talking. I'd really like to be oh, yeah. more than I friends. loved it. No, no, no. I think anything else I would have been like, ooh. Yeah, why are you desperate? Yeah, it was really, it was very sweet, very nice. So, 
I sent my number yep. and then held my breath because just from the email, my heart was like beating heavier. Yeah, I mean, I read that. Normal, I remember know? getting like butterflies reading your email. Yeah. I was so excited. Then my phone buzzes yep. at like 8.39 mm -hmm. and it's Hannah. I had my final that morning. I was up early. For my final, I remember, and I was like, "Hi, like this is Hannah from your email." Do you, do you remember what my response was? Who was the? I was said, like, "I was like, not familiar." Oh. <laughs> Pretended I had no idea. What That's she funny, about. unless I maybe thought you were serious. And that that was a risk. Kicked off day one. Yep. We began to text. I remember you were busy that day. Yeah, I you finals. were going to like sign up for like my lifeguard shift. Lifeguard shift. Yeah. yeah. I had a final in the morning, and then I, like, at the end of the term, we always send up for next term's lifeguard shifts. And I was out with Sarah. You said you were asking people for money. Yeah, but I was out. I, it was, like, fundraising stuff. It was fundraising media. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying. <laughs> that you said it in a funny, I still remember that you uh, said, uh, I'm out asking people for money. You were, like, meeting with businesses about yeah. lamb. It wasn't, like, weird. I'm just saying. Hi, everyone. I'm editing right now. Just to make it clear, Shane has a nonprofit, and that's who he was asking for money for he was just fundraising for an event for lamb i think it, i made it sound like he was like on the street begging people, people for money and we realized you might not know that he has a nonprofit, so that's what his job was that day was meeting with businesses about an upcoming event yes thank you hannah Thanks. so i was busy working that day um yeah. so we chatted your text where we could that night we had more time then to actually talk mm -hmm. uh hannah sent me the first selfie that I ever received. Yeah. Should we share that? Yes. All right, here it is. Look at how cute. All tired. I was be studying. I had, another, studying. I had another final the next day. <laughs> and do you remember me calling you that night? The FaceTime? The FaceTime? Yes, I do. Do you want to tell them about that? Yeah, so I... <laughs> You're nervous. I have a thing about FaceTiming. Uh -huh. I don't like it. Just social stuff like that makes you extremely nervous. Yeah. nervous. So I was like, no, I will FaceTime you. And Shane was like, well, but like... I was like, are you doing tap face? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, well, like we're going to have to FaceTime eventually. And I, this is, oh my God, I can't believe you kept talking to me. This is so embarrassing. I was like, um, I, I couldn't bring myself to FaceTime Shane with the assumption that we would be talking this is like really weird i didn't want to do a phone call i didn't want to talk to him so i was like i'll i'll get on facetime with you i think this will help me like uh, maybe we can facetime for real tomorrow but let's just go on i said for one second and i was like all right fine one second yeah so i called her we looked at each other smiled and I hung up. <laughs> Oh, I feel so bad for myself, but I was like, oh, okay, like, he's real, he's, you know, friendly and normal, so uh -huh. then the next day... No, you sent me a video that night. Yeah, because oh, we, true. we were, I was talking, like, oh, my God, that was great, like, yeah. let's do that more. I sent her a video of me yeah. talking that I had filmed on my laptop's camera. I don't, we lost that. I don't, I don't have that for some reason. Um, but then I sent her another one, yeah. which we'll play here. Super embarrassing. Listen to how dirty I am. So this is the only angle that I can hold my phone at. <laughs> the last video I filmed on my laptop and then I emailed it to myself. But I'm not going to do that every time. So let's just get comfortable with this being the angle that I film my videos at. Also, I like your face. So here's the first video that Hannah sent me. Is this really like Snapchat? Is it really? <laughs> yeah, I wanted Shane to get a Snapchat account so that we could do that. Yeah. I was like into Snapchat then, now I don't even use it, but yeah. apparently I was into it and he refused. I was so. like, no, send me a video. Yeah, so I was I, like, it's the same thing. I was like, it's not the same to text you a video of me talking. <laughs> So that's my first video from Hannah, and to this day, that line like will just go through my head. Yeah. Every once in a while, I'll just hear her going, "Is it really like Snapchat? Is it really?" <laughs> and her voice, like, oh my god, that that was my first time hearing her voice, and I was just like, "Oh <laughs> my god, I am falling fast." I like this video too. This is so lovely and fun. <laughs> so then, the next day, we do our first real FaceTime yep. where we talk. 
I was like, I was packing up to go home. I had finished all my exams, which is why we were ready to FaceTime. I was like, okay, I'm totally done now for the term. Like, yeah. I can FaceTime you. And you I was great. I remember you being like, I'm just so nervous. I'm nervous, but I'll, I'll do that. I told you I was nervous because I was like, well, I need, he needs to know that I'm not always going to be like this. I was so yeah. nervous. Um, and I remember I was sitting on the floor of my dorm room packing up all my stuff. Yep. Yeah. And so I FaceTimed her and I. Helped her, Pat helped. Yeah. Air quotes. Kept me company. I kept her company while she packed and that. We just like chatted. We asked each other a million questions yeah. about our respective lives. Mostly because, you asked questions. Well, I led the, I was nervous. I led the conversation a bit because you were like uh-huh. very nervous, which I found so cute. <laughs> no. That you were like all like shy and bashful. <laughs> um, so yeah, and it was. Wonderful, and we made each other laugh. And it was an hour and a half long. Yeah. I still remember that. When I got off, I was like, oh my god. I think, I mean, that was when we were first like, oh my god. Yeah. As soon as we were on FaceTime and I was like comfortable, I couldn't believe it because I was, yeah. you know, I really expected to like not have a nice time. Yeah. I was were, like, this is going to be horrible. Yeah. And then you were so, like, you made right. me so comfortable, and I was like, oh my god, this was actually really fun. Yeah. So. We began FaceTiming a lot. <laughs> like I did later that night, we did another one. Mm-hmm. I mean, week. every day. Is that our one? We began FaceTiming like all the time. Yeah. Uh, rearranging our everything to make room for more FaceTiming. Hours you, and hours a day. You were home on spring break. Great for like two weeks. Yep. And I don't think you left your bedroom uh-uh. because we were. Tiny. I would like take my meals up uh-huh. there. You would eat in your room. I mean, our poor families. <laughs> and. It was evident that we were very emotionally connected. I still remember that the first <laughs> first couple of days I was home, you must have done this like the day we met because I got a package from you and it was a giant bag of watermelon Sour Patch Kids. And I guess I had told you I liked those. Yeah. That was so sweet. I was like, I cannot believe that I like randomly named a candy that I liked and you sent it to my door. You know, it was so cute. <laughs> yeah. Um... So we just talked nonstop for, you know, well, two from, weeks. From yeah. then on. I mean, from then on, really, yeah. Do you remember our first I Love You? Yeah, I think it was over spring break still. It was, it was. Because I was home. It was like three weeks after we met. Yeah. I think we, It was definitely within that time because yeah. I was at my parents' house. I wasn't back at school yet. So do you want to talk about that? Or is that <clears> sure. too embarrassing? It's not too embarrassing. <laughs> it was about three ish, two and a half, three weeks after we had met. <laughs> uh, we had been FaceTiming. I mean, we probably logged like 500 hours oh, by then. It was nonstop. Yeah. <laughs> Our families were like, what are you guys doing? I think, I think you had already met my mom over FaceTime. Uh-huh. I had met your dad. I know that because he would like come in yeah. to your room and like bring you a beer. And I would be like, hello. <laughs> um, and. I remember it was late at night. It was late at night. We were saying good night. Yeah, I was about to go to bed. And during that FaceTime, that FaceTime was probably three hours long. Yeah. During that FaceTime, I remember that you said I I like made a mean joke and you were like, Oh, I hate you, but I love you. And I was like <gasps> <laughs> oh my god that wasn't the real like, no it wasn't it wasn't it was like it, and i was like oh my god he literally just said that but he probably you know he probably didn't even mean just to say a that. phrase yeah just a, it's just a phrase you know and then that night like when we finished you were like uh and this is so, i shouldn't say it <laughs> this is so middle school i know i was like i want to tell you something <laughs> but i really shouldn't uh do you know what i'm getting at uh, it was so and cute. her was face like, was like yeah, I remember uh, saying, you can say it. You were like, say it. Yeah, I was like, just say it, Shane. And you were like, I love you. It was so cute and dorky. And I remember I like hit my face. Like I was like, oh yeah, my gosh, oh God. Your vision was like, I love you too. No, I did this. I was like laughing. And then I came back and I was like, I love you too. But I could not yeah. believe it. It was just this, it's so surreal. Yeah. You know, when you begin talking to a stranger that lives a thousand miles away yeah. and instantly connect on such a deep level that three weeks later yeah. you're feeling in love. Uh-huh. It, it just felt so unreal. Yeah, you know? exactly. Okay, Chloe, it's now. okay. Our lawn is about to be mowed. Uh-huh. We should probably get done. But that is a story of how we met. Right, close the door. Hopefully that helps. All right. We were, if you don't know, we were long distance for two years after that. Yes. Um, almost exactly from the day that like we met. It was two years to the day Shane moved to Minnesota. Um, we did have visits almost every month during that time, which was amazing. Except for the time I studied abroad. 
then that was four months that we were apart. That, that felt was, like hell. That was the longest, <laughs> and that really spurred us moving in together. Yeah. So. So that's the story. We've talked about like our first in-person meeting. Yes. Before you can find those videos. Yeah. But that's how we met. Yep. The love story. The love story. Nice. Army and drugs. Yep. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.